Hi everyone, about a minute from Newcastle, Colorado. I'm here for a speech today uh, at the Energy and Environment Symposium in Garfield County. Um, and I've heard some of the presentations here this morning and one of the things I'm going to talk about is the fact that Colorado is now an energy battleground state. Uh, like a lot of democratic states in Colorado now is clearly a democratic state. It used to be a purple state, it's now a blue state. Uh, there are, are a lot of efforts now to uh, force energy transition in the state of Colorado. Um, what is the problem with that? Well, first of all, uh, the state is very uh, constrained in terms of land. So uh, the state has a roadmap that says that they're going to uh, electrify everything and that they're going to use renewables to do it. Well, you can't do it. It's not going to happen in Colorado because there isn't enough land. The land use constraints here are just like every other state. Um, but a lot of this uh, uh, a talk that is coming from uh, climate NGOs here in Colorado ignores the importance of oil and gas to this state. Um, Colorado, I just uh, got the numbers, it's ninth in natural gas production in the U.S. and fourth in crude oil production. And those are numbers that are higher than I thought. Um, you know, people forget that Colorado is an important energy producing state. It is a big energy producing state. Um, and I heard a good presentation this morning from uh, Chris Brown from the Common Sense Institute. He estimated that if, in fact, the state were to ban uh, the use of uh, or the drilling for oil and gas, uh, it would uh, cost the state something like $321 billion over 10 years. I mean, these are massive numbers. Uh, the reality is that Colorado is, the, the population here is growing. Uh, the state produces a lot of oil and gas and it, and it will continue uh, for a long time, but the state is also going to see continued battles over oil and gas policy, over decarbonization. Um, and in fact, the net zero policy that the state has adopted uh, uh, according to a McKinsey study that just was done fairly recently, uh, could cost the state something like $168 billion just in the next 10 years. So the costs are massive um, in terms of the effect on consumers and ratepayers, um, and that's something that doesn't get discussed uh, nearly enough in these uh, talks about decarbonization and, and uh, quitting hydrocarbons. And who pays uh, the bill when costs go up? It's, of course, the poor and the middle class. Uh, but anyway, looking forward to this speech. I'm on stage here in about an hour here in Newcastle. Um, and uh, you know where to find me. I'm on Substack, robertbryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.